Hi, I'm Chris from LiveScore and today we're going to check out the new audio interface integration of LiveScore. Since some earlier editions, LiveScore can play audio files on specific events, such as a buzzer sound when your clock runs out. It is now possible to use a dedicated audio interface for these sounds. Audio interfaces, like this external USB-based one from Line 6, are special devices that make it possible to connect your computer to audio devices like microphones or a PA system. The direct communication of LiveScore in such an audio interface helps you to avoid any unwanted sound being heard from the audience on your venue PA system. So no chat sounds, no mouse clicks, only the expected sounds are being sent to the audio interface. Let me show you. So what I have here is a Line 6 Sonyport VX audio interface, great small mobile device. I do also have two speakers that are connected to the left and right channel of the main output of the audio interface, so a basic stereo setup in here. The audio interface itself is connected with a USB cable. So let's start LiveScore with a sport that supports audio output, like hockey. We start by opening the settings and navigate to the audio library section in LiveScore. You might be already familiar with this list. It shows all predefined but also custom audio files you've added. Now let's just listen to a preview while our built-in audio system is being used. Great. Now select the external interface and then just click on save. To finish our setup, we have to select one of the audio files as a buzzer sound and then just submit it. We reset the game just to be sure that every old data is really gone and then just start a new one. For this demonstration, I will make sure that it looks like as if our game clock is running out, so I open the sports control and set any low number as a current time. Now I just start the game clock and as soon as the time reaches zero, we should actually hear our audio file being played on our really big PA system. Alright, that's it for the audio interface integration. I hope you have fun using it. Thanks for watching.